Hello, this is Brandon with Cypress Learning, and today we're going to be going over our webhooks by Cypress for Salesforce Flows. First, install the webhooks by Cypress package. Once installed, confirm your remote site has been added to the setup. The package will include go.par.com. However, if you'd like to use one of your own tracker domains, you'll need to make sure you add it as a new remote site. We recommend using your own tracker domains for your remote site setting. Now, navigate to Flows and create a new flow. Select the type of flow. For this demo, we're going to use a record triggered flow. For our record triggered flow, we'll select Lead for now, and any time a lead is created or updated. Define the conditions for your record triggered flow. I'd recommend using is changed if possible to make sure you're not sending over too many requests in the flow. Next, add a new action and we'll take a look at the webhooks by Cypress, Apex Action. Search for webhooks by Cypress batch job. Choose a label. For this demo, we're going to use send to pardot. What we need to do to get this Apex action to work is create a URL variable to be passed as part of this Apex action. So let's create a new resource. The resource type will be a formula. We'll give this API name Pardot Handler. For the data type, we'll select text and we'll create a formula for our form handler. Let's jump into Pardot and create a form handler. When we're creating our form handler, Enable in data entry mode. Keep the success and error location to referring URL as flows will not be pointing these users to a success location. Once we have our form handler, let's go back and add it into our formula. Make sure to wrap your form handler in quotes. And we'll need to add a query starting with an exclamation point. Since email is required, we'll use that variable first. To pass a variable dynamically, close a quote and add an ampersand. Then we're going to add a new resource. We will select the email field on the record that initiated this flow. You can continue the pattern by using an ampersand followed by another quote and another ampersand as the connector in your query string. You can repeat this for as many times as needed in order for your form handler to work appropriately. Once you've built out your formula resource, you'll add it to the URL input value in our Apex action. In order to activate, we'll save and name our flow. And let's test it. Once the conditions are met in your Salesforce account, you'll be able to see a new prospect has been added to the form handler and you can see it's already syncing with Salesforce. A couple of notes is Salesforce Flows is very flexible, so you also have the ability to initiate this flow from different objects other than lead or contact. And you also have the ability to initiate flows from one Salesforce organization to the next. As long as you meet the conditions of the remote site, and can pass through the values into the Pardot form handler, you'll be able to pass data from this Salesforce flow into any Pardot account that you choose. Thanks, I hope this is helpful.